The damage caused by severe weather goes beyond what we can see. It also chips away at underlying infrastructure, and that can cause bigger problems over time. Joe Ripley is live in Cobb County for us, and Joe, storms take a toll on pipes, storm drains, reservoirs. The underworkings of communities, I guess they don't always hold up as they're designed to do. Uh, that's right, Cheryl, when they're first built, of course, they are built to withstand the uh, flash flooding that we saw overnight. For example, you can see this over time. This is what can happen with erosion, crumbled asphalt, a heaping pile of dirt here. Uh, we understand that a, an emergency worker actually fell into this hole over the last hour. He had to be stretchered into an ambulance, but we are told he should be OK. But you can see the impact storms like these can have testing the infrastructure built to stand against them. Our house is one of the good ones. It was much worse this morning. How Niakin woke up to a flooded yard at her home on Columns Drive in Cobb County. Furniture in the woods, water pooled in the roads. There's trash in my yard. This is like every time we get flooded here. We, we have trash, we have debris, we have you know all kinds of stuff, and then we have to start all over again cleaning up. She blames this water reservoir. She says when heavy rain comes, the water typically backs up. This is a public road, and people get flooded every time that problem needs to be resolved. Cobb County crews were out responding to eight reports of trees down and more than 25 cases of flooded roads. All the immediate concerns are opened up. The roads are open. The flooded roads are open. Everything is operational and passable, but now it's just going to be the next week or so of just clean up. It might take longer to fix roads that were completely washed out, like this one on Pickens Industrial Drive. The construction cut off access for businesses. One expert in piping told me the metal conduit rusted, cutting its water intake capacity in half. He says over time that leads to erosion, and when strong storms hit, it leads to washed out roads and bridges. For Hale Niakin, crews can't act fast enough. I want him to clean that place, and I want him to take care of it so that you know this problem will be resolved as soon as possible. But we are told this is a private road, so it wouldn't be eligible for any federal dollars, say, if the president's infrastructure plan were passed through Congress and signed. However, we've seen scenes like this play out all across Cobb County, and it's only a matter of time before they happen again. Yeah, our state and across the country has a lot of aging infrastructure, and we sure see what happens when storms come through.